Understanding ChatGPT, Models and Uses, a friendly guide for seniors. I'm Huey Poplock. Today we're going to learn about ChatGPT, what it is, how it works, and how it can be useful in your everyday life. So what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is like a helpful friend you can chat with online. It can write emails, help with questions, or just chat. It's an AI chatbot developed by OpenAI. It can help you with writing, questions, ideas, and tasks, just like a smart assistant that talks in plain English. You can ask ChatGPT to help with things like writing a letter, explaining something confusing, or planning a trip. You can write emails or letters, summarize articles, answer questions, recipes, tech support, planning, storytelling, and chatting, among many others. How does ChatGPT work? Well, ChatGPT, or GPT itself, stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It's a fancy term for software trained to understand and generate human language. It's based on a technology called GPT. Uh, it learns patterns in language. It's trained on vast amounts of information, but it doesn't think like a human. The overview of ChatGPT models. There are different versions of ChatGPT. The newer ones are smaller and faster. GPT-40 for Omni is the most advanced for most users. But there's also several others that are listed here and some that aren't. There are some 4.1 models for developers. It's not ChatGPT web users. Uh, these newer models are designed for software developers who build apps using AI. They aren't available in the regular ChatGPT website. If you're using ChatGPT through your browser, that's chat.openai.com, you'll be using ChatGPT-4.0 if you have a pro subscription. You can disregard this slide uh, unless you're curious about what's powering future tools and apps built on ChatGPT. The 4.1 was announced in the last couple of weeks, but it doesn't affect you at all. I wouldn't pay any attention to it. So, what version do I use? So, here's what your screen looks like, and it's difficult to figure out what you're going to use and why. So, what model should you use? Well, if you're using the free version as of May 2025, you can use GPT-40. So, for uh, everyday use, use that, GPT-40 or Omni. It's the fastest uh, 04-mini or 04-mini high uh, is, is faster, but free users can now use chat GPT-40, and that's what you probably should be using. Here is the difference between free and paying the $20 a month for the plus. Most of what you would do, you can do with the free. However, there are some advantages to having the plus. If you need those, then it's worth the $20. There are some limitations if you use the free model. How to use ChatGPT? Well, just go to the website, sign in, and type your message like you would in an email or text. It's that simple. You visit chat dot openai dot com you log in or create an account you type your question and you read the AI response simple as that some tips for seniors don't be afraid to try it out there's no wrong way to ask a question the more you use it the easier it gets talk to it like it's a friend try write a birthday message no need for perfect grammar Use it to learn or solve problems. So spelling and grammar, if, if you're off a little bit, it doesn't care. It figures it out. 
fun activities with ChatGPT. It's not just useful, it can be fun too. Try asking it to tell you a joke or write a silly poem or write a song, uh, travel ideas or fun facts, make lists or schedules. Stay safe with ChatGPT. Never give out sensitive information like your social security number or passwords. Always verify any important facts that you get back in an answer. So in other words, again, don't share personal information. Double check important answers and uh, use it for fun and for learning. This is a chart of all the current versions of ChatGPT. Uh, some items to note, the release date for each one. The first version of ChatGPT was released in November of 2022. That's when all the AI became a very popular and uh, mainstream item just back in November of 2022. You'll notice on here, too, uh, the image generation. Not all uh, models of ChatGPT have image generation, uh, and some aren't available for web browsing. You have to have the software install it on your computer and run it from your computer. And uh, look to see what it's best for, the different uh, versions. And then the availability. Is it to free and plus, or is it API only? API only means that you're going to be paying for the amount of usage, and it's you've got to set up an API number and, and more things that you want to get involved in. Feel free to reach out if you want to help using ChatGPT. Don't forget Let's Talk AI that I moderate for STUG, the Sarasota Technology User Group. We meet on Zoom on the fourth Friday of the month. You can contact me at Huey at Huey.net. Have fun exploring.